Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so I promised on the last video that I was going to do a video about an EDC. Um, I'm assuming that people who watch my channel know what an EDC is. It means everyday carry. Uh, that doesn't mean firearms before any Americans start chiming in. Um, it does mean what I carry on an everyday basis. Um, just to just the stuff that I carry, generally speaking. Um, the, there's a few things that people misconceive about EDCs. An EDC doesn't need to be like a bug out kit, it doesn't need to be a massive thing. Um, quite often it's something tiny. Um, I for one use one of these for my EDC kit. Um, this is a drop leg bag. This one was from Amazon, I think it was about 12-15 quid. Um, there's a reason I use a drop leg bag and it's because it's really handy for on the motorcycle as well as when I'm walking doesn't get in the way, nice and easy. I quite like the style of it as well. I appreciate that's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, and because of that, there's always the small backpack option. Um, if you like that, this one's uh, from uh, Decathlon. Uh, I think it was something like four, five, four ninety nine. Cheap, easy, lightweight. Um, you're not gonna fit too much stuff in it, but that's kind of the point. An EDC should be minimal stuff. Um, so let's just run through what I generally keep in my EDC. Obviously, the hat comes with me everywhere, but I don't class that as part of my EDC. So, within my everyday carry bag, I always have my mask um, because COVID. I always have, and th these are always in the top pocket here of, uh, of my bag because it's nice and easy to get to um, but I always have an emergency knife and an emergency whistle now the emergency knife I'll just show you close up there um, it's a tiny little thing it's not really got an edge on it as such it's supposed to be there in case you need to cut a piece of string or something um, I like it there just in case I have to cut one of these straps around me uh, around my leg in case I come off the motorcycle or something it's nice to have that to be able to cut through if it's cutting off circulation or something and I can't otherwise get it undone. Uh, the whistle I think is fairly obvious. Um, I've had this whistle for a long time now. Um, I thankfully never had to seriously use it. But it's good to have it and not need it. It's much better to have it and not need it than the other way around. Stick them back in there because otherwise I'll forget where, where I'll put them. Uh, the other thing in my everyday carry, I think everybody carries this, but I actually keep it in my bag, is my wallet. Um, and yes, that is a wallet. Um, I only ever carry cards, I don't carry cash, um, because you can pay for everything by card these days. Um, and this is a RFID protected wallet. So all, the, all of my cards are actually stored inside this metal case. Um, the metal case is RFID protective, so if anybody's walking through a crowd with a chip, chip and pin reader, um, with the um, contactless reader, if they w swipe it against this, they're not going to get anything. It protects my cards, it protects my money. Always a good thing to have. Next in my EDC. And this is where most people are never going to want this, but I like to have this. It's a head torch. Um, this one's actually a USB charged head torch. Uh, it's got a couple of different options, which is always good, including a red light filter light and a flashing red light. Um, this one also has a uh, motion sensor built into it for when I'm walking. Um, quite useful for winter months. Uh, some people say why do you need that especially at this time of year. It, it's sunny, it's nice but again I think about this for the if I come off my motorbike. If I'm traveling somewhere in the dark and I come off my motorbike that would be a lifesaver because that will give people a clear indication that something in that field or that shouldn't be there and hopefully come and rescue me. People will be able to find me that way. Um, the next thing in my bag is another essential for exactly that reason. First aid kit. 
it's not a big one, it's nothing too fancy. Um, I try and keep this restocked, I uh, go through it once a year just to make sure everything's in date. Um, again, the purpose behind this is to have it in case I need it, but hopefully that I'll never need it. If it's always in my drop leg bag, then it's always on hand, it's always close to. Um, one guy a few months ago asked me why I've got this in my drop leg bag. Surely I could just throw it in my pannier boxes on the motorcycle. Uh, the answer is, well, what if I get thrown off the motorcycle and I need my first aid kit, but it's 30 metres away? Do I really want to have to drag myself 30 metres in case I need it? It's better to have it attached to me. If it's there, it's there and I can easily get to it. Again, just stick those away. And in the final pocket, um, always carry a carrier bag. So many uses for a carrier bag, it, if nothing else, in case I get sent to the shops randomly. Um, I like to keep a box of matches um, in there. Again, very rarely use them. I've had that box in there for about a year. Um, always keep uh, paracetamol, again, part first aid kit, but I always keep it separate. Um, no, that's actually ibuprofen rather than paracetamol. Um, pen's always nice to have, uh, just in case. Oops. Because uh, you never know when that's going to come in handy. Um, and I also keep um, this Sharple knife sharpener and fire block with me. Purely because it's got the fire stick in it. So again, if I need to, that'll just give a, a really nice spark on a fire. I'm drawing it the wrong way there. Um, so it's really nice to have that in my kit. Comes in handy because if I am wild camping, that's my primary source of ignition for setting a fire when I'm camping. Really useful again. Um, and that's basically it for my, my EDC. Um, now this is currently set up for summer months because well, we're nearly in May. Um, in the winter months I tend to also keep a snood in there in case it suddenly goes a bit colder. Uh, I also tend to keep a pair of gloves in there in the winter, again just in case it goes colder. But you know what, if it's that cold I'm probably dressed for the weather anyway. And then the last thing that I occasionally take, so this isn't really part of my EDC, um, this is an occasional carry. This is um, a sheath that I made for myself. Um, it's actually a nine inch pruning saw. And along with that, it's an Openel, uh, Openel number six pen knife. Now these don't come out with me every day. These come out with me if I'm going on a walking route that I know has got a tree fallen or something, or that I know that I'm gonna need prune branches on. Um, I, I used it re recently. Uh, there's a path that I walk that used to be an old train line. A few trees have come down over winter. Nice to have this on my belt so that as I'm walking along there, I can just take the branches off, clear the path again. Uh, so it's nice and open for everybody else. Chances are I'll, I'll maybe have that on my belt once a month maximum. Um, it's not something I like to carry for obvious reasons, but it is useful if you are going in the woods. If I'm wild camping, this will be in my bag um, because it's really useful for around the campsite. Uh, having that pruning saw, uh, it's only a cheap one from local hardware store, but having that on my belt while I'm camping is really good for just chopping up wood for the fire um, really useful for that and the open knife um, without a doubt the best knife that I've ever had uh, the number six I find is plenty big enough for any camp needs uh, you don't need anything bigger than that you certainly don't need the machetes and the hatchets that a lot of other people use um, I've never seen the point in them it doesn't really help I suppose if you're if you're camping in bear country maybe that would be useful, but not for me, not not for my uh, needs. Um, so yeah, that, that's my everyday carry stuff. Well, everyday and occasional ca day carry. Um, hopefully I'll be able to put some uh, photos up of the um, of me actually wearing the drop leg bag so you can see what it looks like. Um, I don't care if you think I look a fool, come on.
I look forward with that anyway from some people's perspectives. Um, lovely. Th thanks very much for your time today. I appreciate that's a longer video than I usually do, but hopefully it's been useful for some of you. Uh, any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, I have been Toast, and I have travelled well, about eight feet actually today.